JB Sports Fan 7. Hey, have you ever wanted to play the show 19 and perhaps try out Road to the Show where you create your own player and you go you start at the scout day, then you go through the minor league and then make your way to the actual major league? Well, that's what we're going to do today as we are going to start from the very beginning with Road to the Show, as soon as I find it here. So you select that and then you, you say Start New. And let's just use the uh, current rosters. That should work out just fine. Um, and of course I'm in USA. And being a Tigers fan, I am in Michigan. And there's just something about being a being a um, shortstop that was kind of fun. Puts you right there in the middle of the action. So I'm going to edit my name and number. So let's just put in, let's see, G, B, and then call that good for the first name. The last name, you guessed it. Sports fan. There we go. And of course, the number is going to be seven. Hopefully, you're a little bit creative, more creative than I am at this, but we'll call that good for now. And I am, I do throw with my right hand, so we'll go with that. I bat from the, what side of the plate do I bat from? Well, I am a right-handed batter, so that <laughs> that's a fun little bobblehead up there on that desk. They could have just asked what <laughs> if I was right-handed or left-handed or batter. Uh, what kind of player do I want to be? Um. Let's see, pure power, small ball, rock steady, Mr. Utility. The anomaly, the anomaly has pretty good speed and, and okay power, but I I don't know. Weaknesses of power hitting and plate discipline. Hmm. Pure power. Well, gee, I don't know what I want to do here. I think that I should just choose Mr. Utility with the ability to play almost anywhere, but it looks like if you want to be a clutch hitter, do not choose Mr. Utility. That just would not be a good option for you. Or maybe not even for me. I mean, come on, let's be realistic here. So I'll just choose Mr. Utility and let's see what happens. And then it's going to ask you what type of personality you like. Are you are you a doer? You're not necessarily concerned with planning preparation, always able to get it done, in the heat of the moment. Then you want lightning rod. As a maverick, you're independent. And you have a, and, you, <laughs> and it says you always get under your opponent's skin. The team captain, your natural leader, and you're always uh, you always get respect among your peers. Or you're the heart and soul, and you're a people person, and you're always positive. Well, I'm an independent thinker myself, so I'm gonna go with Maverick. Oh, and third choice. Oh, there's a second choice? Well, I think Lightning Rod and then the third choice would be Captain. I'm not always positive in every situation, so... Okay, now here is where we are going to edit what it sounds like when they announce your name. So I'm just going to go with... Um, 
Let's see. <laughs> Cowboy. <laughs> so yeah, if I wanted to hear the uh, hell was gonna sound, I could press square. Cowboy. And yeah, I don't know. Country breakfast? Is that really? Is that really a thing? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Country breakfast. Um. Let's go with. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, let's go back to a fun name. I'm just not. Let's see. Um, Pee Wee Pepper. Oh, I remember back, back in around 2006, 2007, and that time frame where we had uh, Ivan Rodriguez as catcher. He was really my favorite all-time player for Detroit as a catcher at first baseman. Uh, but he, they don't even have that nickname in here. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can't find... I wonder if they have, like, the jet or something in here from... Nope, they don't. His dudeness, what in the world? His dudeness? Yeah, no thanks. Um, Mad Dog? I don't know. <laughs> I'll go with G-Man, why not? G-Man. Okay, so I have that one. I'm going to press X. Then let's go to the last name. G-Man. Let's see. We're just going to go through. They have a bunch of names, so you might even be fortunate enough to find your own name here if if you, if you create your player and you want your real name to be uh, to be announced when you your player walks up to bat. Let's see. I'll just go with Rodriguez here. Right here. G-Man Rodriguez. Rodriguez. G-Man Rodriguez. Alright. So I'll press X now and... Nope. Go back. And press options to finish. But now I, I think I completely skipped the screen where we can edit. Um... All of the uh, the physical attributes of our player, so I will have to go back and and take care of that later at some on a future video. So I have to come back and uh, check that out. But while we are at Just pause in the days game, before the forty round MLB draft, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Some lesser known prospects on get our one video. last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. So here we are, about to take care of our uh, scouting. So okay, let's uh, skip over the stretching part here. So this is supposed to be a uh, Before Mr. Utility Player. Swings, this prospect shares a word with another prospect who just finished up. Did I just see, did I just see that display of power? Uh, no, I think I missed it, but... Um, yeah, I'll just do that. Let's see what I can do with uh, some batting practice here. Here's where you get a chance to uh, just practice your timing a little bit before the scouts, before you actually do your official evaluation. I'm going to try a couple power swings here, like that one. Oh, yeah. Well, it does see Mr. Utility, uh, being the profile I checked out for this guy, um, doesn't have a lot of power behind this power swing. 
Okay, so that was pressing square. Now I'll press circle and do the contact swing. That's a nice double play ball. A little slow, but... Do another contact. Almost. Oh, uh, that's decent. But I usually swing with the X button like this. Going back to the X, it's kind of a combination between power and contact. I'm going to start moving the... Uh, what do you call it? <clears throat> I'm still not really thrilled with my practicing so far, so I'm going to hold off before I start the evaluation. I'll do about um, three more hits and see what happens. Let's do a little earlier, like right now. Okay, let's just start the evaluation. Ten pitches. Oh, that was an awful swing. You'll see in the bottom left corner that it sh it tells you if you swung early or late, or how your timing was, and then the result of that of, of the swing. Looks like a lot of these will be be caught easily. A lot of flyouts here. Uh, stay fair, stay fair. Oh, okay. It's not too bad. It could have been better. That would be a nice double play ball right there. Okay, last, last swing here. Alright, not too bad. Not, not all that great, but not, not bad. So, we may have just made it out of there. Sometimes, it only takes a simple word or two to establish trust in others, which helps during evaluation. All right, let's uh, start fielding some double plays. Now you watch the top of the screen and it will tell you what to expect. Oh no, that's good thing this is just practice and we haven't started the evaluation. That could have been a lot worse though. Oh, come on. And then, as you're seeing, we have to use the stick to aim where you're going to throw. But right before, right as soon as he hits the ball, you press circle, telling you you want to go to the first base. Then you pick the ball up, then you move the right stick up into the middle of that hole, then you press R2, and that is how you complete a throw. Well, it looks like we're just going to first, so let's try this. Field ground balls to my left. Okay. Here we go. Spin throw, get that stick up there, hit R2, and let's get him out. All right. And here we go again. Circle. Oh, completely missed that one. Okay, now we're feeling to the right. It's very crucial that you pay attention to that. Bring that over, and there we go. This way. There we go. Almost a dead bullseye. All right. Now we're ready for a double play. So we're gonna throw a triangle instead of circle. 
bringing that up there. If you wait until yellow or red, then you have a chance of overthrowing or completely missing your target and sending that ball to who knows where. Field double plays from second base. Oh no, I see I overshot that. I didn't get that right in the middle, so that pulled the first baseman off of first base. Come on, get over there, get over there to second, load the circle, and then bring that. Ah, oh, that's right on the edge. Whew. That would have been disastrous. Another one from second base. Come on, go, 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 go. Hit circle and then move this guy up there. There we are. And then you just wonder was that the clinic they were talking about putting on? I don't know. Done for the day and heading back to the locker room. This player is met by one of the scouts in attendance. But I'm not gonna ask that first question, I'll just say thank you. Who reminds him that he's still got one more chance to make an impression on the big league buyers. So it looks like the scouting gave me a higher Um, higher than expected rating on that so let's see so I'm going to go ahead and continue and while we have a second don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to the channel and so you can Everyone watch my progress as a personality goes. even a ball player that personality influences how they respond to their teammates and their coaches. What's the question? First game of the showcase, time for us to step up and be known. Well, I'm watching that top right. If I went with the uh, first response, well, that looks okay, but um, let's see what the next one down. Oh, wow, that's not really any progress at all. Wow, that is a significant jump from two to three, and then, wow, I think I'll go with lightning rod. Let me go ahead and play this this showcase game one. Alrighty, so this should be fun, educational, interesting. Let's see what MLB happens here. The show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we get the ball rolling with an intriguing matchup on day one between the prospects from the Central Region and those representing the West.
Otis Jones, a right-hander from Illinois, will be what the starter here. What does he mean last year? Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? I thought this was a scout day, so there is no last year for some of these guys. On, but I think if this Actually, guy can have two or three of his really four right. pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Okay, we're going to press circle and skip over all these. And then now it's time for me to play when I'm out there. That's what I'm looking for. Into the box. Otherwise, these games go on forever Rodriguez. and ever. He'll get to take his first so cuts we'll here. just. -Man, Rodriguez. I'm not even going first to guess the first pitch. I'll is. just take it and see what happens. A big roundhouse curveball in there for strike one. Jones is an absolute flamethrower, of course. And you don't have to watch him long before that radar gun really pops and catches your eye. This is what we're looking so now with the for second pitch. I'm going to pull the circle velocity, down and this guy is inside a little bit. -E -L -O. Velo lights up a radar gun and he can hit triple digits. And that's one of the reasons why everybody likes to watch this guy throw. Yeah, and every scout so at this showcase my, appreciates a hitter that can hit my camera the ball, says right press back up the triangle. Middle, and it shows he's got a controlled swing and great I'll automatically time, skip ahead to really your what you next want your hitters. That's a nice replay. It's a nice single. We'll just uh, skip Stepping over into the box, Luis Munoz, as he'll get field. his first opportunity Luis. in this one. Munoz. Rodriguez leads off first with a pair of so outs I'm in the inning. So I'm going to press. Now a throw over to first. <laughs> Runner back I get safely. one step off by pressing R1, and then I see everything slows down. So I flick the left stick back toward the left, and that makes my guy jump back in there. So now I'm gonna do that again. Set, and here comes the one-one. Pitch is high. The throw. Oh, and not, he'll be tagged uh, out at second base, trying to get into scoring position. Once but again, instead, because the I chose Mr. Over. Utility. Another look at the throw down. I don't have the, the speed that I needed. Third out on the bases. Through an inning and a half, no score on the show. Ready for another uh, so, chance. So he's hit man Rodriguez. Back, back to my next last at bat, and we'll see what happens. Rodriguez. I'm once again going to take the first pitch. First pitch of the at bat. Just let that come in. In there for strike one, zero oh and one. Because I don't know all my players, on. how he's going to respond and his uh, batting capabilities yet. Oh. A fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The only downside is now I have two strikes, so I need to. I need to make contact with this one coming up. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Here's a drive out there to we the go. in left center. That should be good enough for a double. Around first. He's digging for second. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Yeah, the scouts are going to eat this one up. He just blasts this thing into the outfield and has enough speed to cruise in the second with a stand-up double. Any hitter that can put that kind of charge into a pitch is going to have a job on a roster. That's the kind of hit that sees your stock rise. Digging in, Luis Munoz will try to follow So at least my hitting is still on par. It's just my base running right here. and my stealing that needs help. A line shot oh, to third good base. thing I didn't and start running toward third. Back, no double play. I do like to be aggressive on Stepping the bases into when the box, Edgar Naboa. He came through with an RBI single Edgar. in his last at bat. Naboa. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard. S through the infield, further. He's going to wave him. Benitez ranges to his left. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. It's That's what a run that. on two hits, one left. To so while this uh, number four we go. Bowman the game is going really is well, please don't here. forget to Three hit the to like and subscribe so you can keep track of my progress through, now to the through play, this character's Nelson career. Nicolau. He got on top of one and was a ground Nelson. out victim last time. Yeah, Nicolau. Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the way this defense double is. Double play for sure. Triangle's, triangle's loaded, loaded and there There's we go. One. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through five here at the ballpark. The central prospects lead it here, three to one. 
as I said, if you only play your appearances and you don't watch the rest of the game, these go by rather quickly. However, if you do not skip it, and you are watching the entire game as you play it, it slows it down drastically. I'm no longer waiting for the first pitch. I'm going to swing right now, right there. And now I have a ribby. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. Yeah, he's definitely going to be pleased with himself there. Gets a base knock and drives in a run along the way. Scouts love a guy that can get timely hits. Well done there. Ready now, Luis Munoz. Now batting, the center fielder, Luis. Rodriguez. Right, let's have another shot at stealing this base. Okay, let's see if I can do one more. No, oh and nuts! I'm in a pickle. Oh no, 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 no! Running there, got him caught in the hot box between first and second. Turn back. And a mistake here as oh. he's tagged out in no man's land. Well, it's one thing to fall asleep at the field, but to do it. I hope that doesn't hurt my G-Man Rodriguez. My draft chances. Hits, um, I might do another first pitch swing right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering, and he fouls this one off. Yeah, that happens sometimes. But once again, that's why he has three strikes to take. Now a ball lying go. toward the alley in left and center. This will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. That's an out, but scouts will like that at bat. Solid contact. Gave the ball a good ride. Just a little bit unlucky. He hit it right at someone. The scouts are more interested in his mechanics and approach, both of which were really good right there. Well done. Ready for another shot now. Chris Figueroa. He Double flew three. out in his last right, day. Nice it's time for another double play. Let's see what we can do at short. Figueroa. Now I'll a get swing to second. and a grounded to second. Well, to second. first and uh, toss it over. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Oh, I love to see a nice turn on the back end of that double play. Good feet, soft hands, and a quick release to complete the play. A player with that kind of glove will be an asset to any team that drafts him. All right. So let's see what the results are here. Four to two, the final score today. The Central led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Hitoki Ito is credited with the win. Otis Jones worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. All right, well, I hope this helps you out. And if you are beginning your journey in the show 19, also, I wish you best of luck. And as I say, like and subscribe this video so maybe we can take the journey together. If you have any questions that I might be able to answer for you, now our final uh, line score. please First go ahead and put them in the, the chat. Central squad. Otherwise, hits. we'll see you next no time. Thank you for watching JB Sports Fan 7, and have a good rest of your day.